Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On-Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm back with another Compliance Tip of the Week. Today we're talking about NIST SP800171 Control 3.13.4. Prevent unauthorized and unintended information transfer via shared system resources. Now, obviously we want to prevent unauthorized and unintended information transfer. That's pretty, pretty no-brainer. But you know, what's not so intuitive is actually how this happens. So uh, I'm going to read the sample answer and then I'm going to kind of dive in a little bit deeper. So if I was giving a sample answer, I'd say, hey, this is implemented via account access permissions. Clearly that's going to help. File and folder shared permissions, right? So our file and folder permissions are going to be our, our primary weapon here. Uh, isolated information systems. So an example would be you don't want your accounting data getting into the general population of data where everybody's got access. So no problem. Just keep your accounting data in a whole separate system like QuickBooks. Uh, lab testing environments uh, and physical access restrictions. So again, the idea is you want to separate things in order to prevent unauthorized and unintended information transfer. And so you want to sort of detail out some of the various ways that you're able to separate that and thus preventing those unauthorized and unintended information transfers. Now, that's the sample answer, but really, what's reality, right? Reality is when you look at the total network shares that are shared out on your network, chances are really good, especially if you've had a network that's been around for a while. There are tons and tons and tons of permissions out there that someone just went and you know gave an any, any, any permission to a folder, okay? Um, no matter what network I've ever been in, I've always seen a pretty healthy amount of that kind of stuff if the network you know has been around for more than a year or two. Again, these are the types of things we have to really get under control. We need to know what uh, folders CUI is stored in, and we need to really pay big attention to those folders and make sure that those are locked down to only the users that uh, they're allowed to have access to. Same thing goes in any other system. You know, if you're doing a OneDrive or SharePoint, you want to really check over who's got permission to those libraries uh, and file folders. So again, the idea is simple, separate, isolate, and make sure that that helps to prevent the unauthorized and unintended information transfer. And if you're trying to get compliant with DFARS, NIST SP800171 or CMMC on your own and looking for help so that you're not so isolated, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST800171compliance.com or check out the bio below for links to make life easy. There you can find more information about how we can help self-schedule time at your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website or learn more about our completely done-for-you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. And hey, if you love the content we're putting out here for you, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button, or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. It's a great way to prepare for that upcoming CMMC certification. Everybody's going to have to go through it eventually. And until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there, and hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. I'll see you on the next one.